myself. Uh, my name is Karin and I'm working in the international office in the Welcome Center. And today I am going to talk about more of the possibilities to go abroad in summer and which funding opportunities we have here at TU Graz. So, just to a little reminder for you, if you haven't been in the drop-in sessions um, yesterday or on Tuesday, we will have another drop-in advising session today from 11 to 1 p.m. Um, if you want, and you are really spontaneous, because when I look outside, weather is awesome. So, if you want, after our session, you could just close your laptop and stop by in our office. You don't have to book an appointment, you can just come. Good. So, since the summer is around the corner, I just want to make you aware of what programs we have here in the international office and which funding opportunities we can give you. So today I am going to talk about more about summer schools and traineeships abroad. Just an overview which possibilities we have here. Um, first of all, we have the summer schools. Second, we have the summer programs. And third, we have traineeships. So we just start with what is a summer school? So there you can make specialized courses abroad often in a short period of time participants bring themselves up to date on the latest research on a specific topic and often it is with practical relevance which is really nice because as i was by myself a student i knew that in university there is no not so much time to to just um do something practical it's often just listening, listening, listening. So that's really nice. And often it's in form of group work. Um, there are a huge range of summer schools uh, which have different durations and also different course fees. Um, it's just an alternative to a semester abroad and also an alternative if you just want to sneak in and experience the studying abroad um, feeling when you're unsure if you are homesick or if you're able to make it through a whole semester. So that's really nice. And it's often uh, combined with touristical activities. And since COVID, also online courses can be founded. I get to that point later. So, but I think the most interesting point for you is how do I find summer schools? So, first of all, I would um, just advise you to search on the internet with different keywords. Just fill in summer school and then add the file of study you want to do it. And there are also some useful websites. Um, they are listed here but you can find them on tu for you as well. Um, yeah, just click through, search through, be aware that there are some summer schools who have really high tuition fees, um, but I get to the funding later on. And sometimes it's such a good course that it is totally okay for you to pay that amount. Good. Another option is to go on tu for you and there um, we have like selection of possible summer and winter schools and academic courses. So in case I didn't cite it right now, we also have winter schools. So universities offer summer schools or winter schools, just summer schools are, yeah, they are offered more often. So. That's why we always talk about summer schools. And also short courses could be funded with this program. Um, just click on this link and you will see, I just keep you updated with all the offers I get from our partner universities. 
yeah, just see and look. It's a little bit, you have to invest a little bit time to just find out which one um, is the best for you. But yeah, we want to help you. So to the funding program in general. So it's a financial support for participation in summer schools, or as I said, other short or academic courses. It, the course has to be related to your field of study and it has to be a minimum of five days and a maximum of four weeks. If you find a um, summer school who is the duration is longer than four weeks, that's not a problem at all. You can also take this summer school. Just be aware that our funding will end after four weeks. Um, the summer school can be freely chosen and you can independently search for, but you can um, use this um, link and take some of that one. That is just the offers we got from our partner university. What is the advantage here is that um, the course costs are often not so high at, as maybe on this side. Good. Um, the eligible course can take place worldwide, just not in Austria. It has to be abroad. So we're the international office. <laughs> and I hope all of you want to go abroad. So, okay, now you maybe ask yourself, how much do I get? Um, so when you found a summer school, you can just apply. I get to that point later, how that works. But to the summer school, you ca can get a day exact scholarship for your stay. And the scholarship rate depends on the country you stay in. The scholarship rate can be found in tu for you again. And then you get a travel allowance as well. If you're outside of Europe, you get 500. And if you're inside of Europe, you get 300. The course fee allowance, there will be something as well. It's two thirds of the course costs and it's a maximum of 1000 euros. Often um, when you choose a course from the offers I put on this website, um, then you're under this 1000 euros. So that's fine. Um, just be aware if the course takes place online, you get a funding, but that's just the last point I mentioned now. It's this course fee allowance. You will not get a travel allowance or scholarship. Just be aware because you will not need travel costs and you will not need a scholarship there because you stay here. So it makes sense, I would say. <laughs> Good. Um, how do you get it? What are the prerequisites? Um, you have to be um, a degree student at TU Graz. It's important that your main university is TU Graz in case you are a Navi student or you're doing the CESS master program or also possible in the electrical engineering or audio engineering field. Just keep aware you have to be main university it has to be TU Graz. Um, if it would be the KF, that's no problem. Then you have to go to that international office. Furthermore, you have to have um, completed at least 30 ECTS in the field of studies relevant for your stay abroad, but that's just for bachelor students. Moreover, it has to be relevant for your studies and it has to be at least five days and it doesn't have to, it can't be uh, in Austria. As well, if it is an online course, it also has to be from a university abroad. So you will not get funding for a course that, online course that it offers from university in Vienna, for example. Germany is possible, just saying. Um, what are the submission deadlines? Um, in this program, it's really nice because applications can be handed in any time. Just be aware that 
all your documents have to be uploaded uh, to Mobility Online at least one month before the course starts. Um, that's an advantage for you because then you get in this program, you will get 80% of the scholarship before and the sooner you upload the documents, the earlier you get the money. So that's a good thing for you. So hi, David, to you as well. We are a little bit uh, further done with the presentation so far, but you not missed so much. We just talked about summer school so far. Um, and where you can find them, but the presentation will be uploaded on YouTube later, um, later next week, so you can check there as well. Good. Then to the application process from summer schools, the first step is you have to apply for the summer school you want to go. That's on you. You have to do this by yourself. You can just use the links I said uh, to find one, but you have to do it on your own. When you got the confirmation of register for this course or the summer school, then you can apply in our office. For that, you can apply directly via Mobility Online. For those who don't know Mobility Online so far, um, when you sign in in your Theograz online account and click on the icon International Relations, um, you come to a homepage and there you just select the course you want or the program you want. So in this case, you have to scroll a little bit because summer schools is quite down, but you will find that and just click on register for a new application. And Mobility Online is really nice because it's step by step. It will tell you what documents you have to upload. Just to get an insight, which documents are the most important ones, um, I need this confirmation of register from you, just that I know that you actually registered for this course. Moreover, I would need the course description, but you can just make a screenshot for example, as well as I, but that comes with uh, when you apply for the summer school, you have to uh, pay the course cost, just uh, hand in a proof of the course cost that we can give you funding for that. Uh, I need as well a letter of motivation from you and uh, application for recognition. Therefore, you go to the person for your studies who is, um, in charge of that and just um, in Mobility Online we have um, paper which you can uh, print out and just give them to sign. So that's not a big deal. Moreover, I need evidence of the required language skills of you, but they can't be older than two years. Let's talk about that maybe a little bit just shortly, um, which ones are allowed. You need them for courses which are not German speaking countries. Um, and the English level has to be B2 or higher. And accepted language certificates are listed here. That would be official language certificates, report from language schools or institutions. Um, it would be this LV Zeugnis, which is a course at TU Graz, and it's called English for Technical People or Technical Study People. Um, and the last option would be Oxford Online Placement Test. It's an online test. You can ask me and I can just send you a link. It costs 10 euros and it's an online test at home and you can do that. Just be aware that sometimes in summer schools, they also want a proof of your English skills and sometimes the UUPT test does not count. Just be aware of that. Just check that first on the homepage. So then 
just we finished summer schools now um, and start with summer programs. Um, they are similar to summer schools. Um, they are also for a short period of time. They are organized by with to you grads and they take place every year. So at the moment we have three different summer programs that are offered every year. Um, we have this summer program in chemistry. It's in Serbia. Um, the submission deadline here is already over, but for um, next year it would be an option. Then we have the summer program College of Engineering of Wayne State University in the US. Um, this one is cancelled, but just for this summer. For next summer, it would be an option again. And then we have the City College of New York. Um, it's also in the US and the submission here is still open. Um, you can apply here till 11th of May. Just keep aware of that. So till just this program is relevant for you now, I will just describe that one a little bit more in detail. Um, so this one is offered every summer. It, the duration is two weeks and it's an intensive program in the subject science and society in the future. The detailed um, date numbers are from 18 to 29th of July. And as I said, the application deadline is already around the corner. But if you would be really spontaneously that would be a really nice option for you in the summer. To the funding from this program, you also get a scholarship. Here the um, scholarship rate is 16 euros or around 16 euros per day. Also, you get a travel allowance, which makes here 500 euros as a maximum and tuition fee waiver you don't have to pay fees at the city college and um, they will pay it for you. Um, just be aware for those who had already heard from this program, there was a time where the costs for accommodation were taking over as well, but they are no longer taken over. Yeah, but you still get the scholarship and with that you can maybe pay some of the uh, accommodation costs or for the living costs. So, and the other ones you would need at home as well. So you will not get into minus. Good. What are here the prerequisites? Um, you have to be admission as a dual Greek student at Theo Graz as well. Also keep aware the Theo Graz has to be your main university. Um, you have to complete at least 120 ECTS at the time of your application. That's maybe one of the big points here. Um, we are just um, in discussion that maybe for next year it will not be such a high ECTS amount, but for now it is fixed like that. So you have to have already 120 ECTS, but from your bachelor, and if you haven't done your bachelor's at TU Graz, that's no problem, just from one bachelor. And also the English proof proficiency of a level of B2. Here, all the other certificates I mentioned before, um, here are the same ones required. Good, to this application here you can uh, directly apply on Mobility Online as well. Go in your TeoGrads online account and click on the icon International Relations. And then you upload the required documents. For here, the required documents um, have to be the letter of motivation, um, a CV in tabular form, um, transcript of records, you can just download that in your TeoGrads online account and the evidence of the required language skills. 
again, for those who now think, oh, that's a nice opportunity, I want to do that, 11th May is the last day to apply for that. Good. Now to the last program, which could be interesting for you during summer, are the traineeships. We here have two different options. We have the Erasmus Plus student traineeships, which um, are in Europe. Just there is one exception, you can't do it in Switzerland. But then we come to the second one, it's the subsidy for traineeships. It can be done worldwide. Good. Hi, Elisabeth. I just saw you joined as well. We're just talking now about the last option, traineeships in summer. You missed summer schools and summer programs so far, but this presentation will be uploaded on YouTube later on, at least um, next week. So you can just look up the differences later or ask questions after my presentation if you have a specific one. Good. For you, maybe um, the most important question is where do I find traineeships? Just let me say that in general, it's not the task of us, the international office, to find your traineeships. That's up to you. You have to search and contact your host company by your own. But for sure, we want to help you and we have already had a lot of students who've done traineeships and we just want to offer you that information. One opportunity or option is to go on TU for you again and I've put you a picture here. Just click on this offer of internships and you will see which internships we were aware of our partner university that are um, just now offered. It this site or this website is for both of the traineeships. So you can find the offers for Erasmus Plus student traineeships as well as subsidy for traineeships. Good. Now let's dive deeper into the subsidy for traineeships. Where do I find this traineeships? Um, there, I'm just working on student reports and I want to make them available for you at TU for you. There you see, ha has there been someone that has done the same master or bachelor than I do? And where did he done a traineeship or my bachelor is so special. I don't know if there is a traineeship for that, which is useful and yeah. If you want to have uh, information about that earlier, just write me um, and let me know what you're studying. And I just have a quick view in our data bank and will tell you if we had one and where that he or she found the traineeship. Good. To the scholarship here as well. Um, here it is a one-time grant. So for stays in Europe and in Turkey, you will get 200 euros. And for stays outside Europe, you will get 300 euros. Now, please be aware that's a new um, regulation since March 2022. If you are a student who receives a monthly net income above 650 euros, be aware it's monthly net income, um, you will not receive subsidy. Um, that's a new regulation. It can be possible that it will change sometime again, but for now that's a uh, regulation. Good. But just let me um, tell you um, shortly that if you still will not receive subsidy, it would be a nice possibility to still apply at our office because um, I will tell you that later, there are some possibilities or advantages for you um, regarding your studies further on, so. Good, um, here you have to be a degree student at JU grads as we had it already two times, three times, two times. Um, 
and please be aware your main university has to be TU Graz. Um, this program is possible from the first semester onwards, um, so you don't have to um, hand in a specific amount of ECTS, um, so that's fine. The internship has to be related to your field of study and it has to be at least one month and you have to work there 30 to 40 hours a week, like a full-time job. The submission deadline here, surprise, <laughs> you can also hand them in any time, but by the first of the month. And all documents have to be uploaded to Mobility Online at least one month before the start of the traineeship. Good. Um, let's talk about the about this documents and the application process in detail. Here it's similar to the summer school. You apply by your own for this traineeship at the company or the institution you want to do it. And if you have the confirmation of the traineeship, then then you can apply at our international office welcome center via Mobility Online as well. Here as well, I think Elizabeth wasn't here when I said that. So to sign up in Mobility Online, just get into your TU Graz online account and click on the icon International Relations. And then you get an overview about all mobility programs we have. And please then select subsidy for traineeships and just register for a new application. Good, and then you have to apply, uh, upload your requested documents. For this program, I will need of you uh, application for recognition. So please go to the person who is in charge of that and he has to sign that it will be recognized at TU Graz. Um, moreover, I need a letter of acceptance from the company, as I said before. And I need a letter of recommendation that could write any uh, teacher of TU Graz and as well the evidence of the required language skills. They can't be older than two years. Just be aware of that again. Good. Now let's talk about traineeships with Erasmus+. Plus. Um, where do I find them exactly or where can I find them? Um, you can go on tu for you again and their Erasmus Plus institutions are listed for traineeships. I just copied you the link here um, that you know where to find it. Moreover, um, here we already have students reports. Just go on tu for you again, click on Erasmus plus student traineeships and then go on the student reports. Um, they're really nice because um, students just tell you a little bit more where they looked for uh, traineeships and what was necessary or what was easy and how they how their stay was in total. So that's a really nice advantage for you. Good. Um, just a quick information regarding Erasmus+. Plus. Students have the opportunity of studying abroad several times within the Erasmus Plus program. It's 12 months per study cycle, so you could go abroad 12 months in the bachelor and in the master uh, or in the PhD. Um, yeah, and that just counts for study periods uh, when you do a semester or a year abroad and as well as student traineeships. Good, here um, when we talk about the scholarship, you get a country specific monthly grant. The funding rates are also listed on to you for you. Um, and just be aware here as well, if you receive a monthly net income above 650 euros, you will not receive a scholarship for now. And please be aware as well that graduates can no longer receive Erasmus Plus funding. That's, that was possible a little bit earlier, but now it's not. 
just be aware of that if you just have this information in your mind already. Good. To the prerequisites in this program, um, you have to be an admission as a degree student at TU grads, main university, TU grads. Good, that was now the fourth time and the last one, I promise. Good. Um, here you have to have to be have to complete it uh, one year. It's recommended not to apply before the third semester. Um, it's a self-organized internship as well as the other form of the traineeships. Um, traineeship has to be useful addition to your study program or part of your bachelor, master or doctoral thesis. It's also a full-time traineeship from 30 to 40 hours per week. And the duration here has to be at least two months. So that's a difference um, to the other program. And it can be a maximum of 12 months. Um, a stay in your home country is generally possible as well. The exception is that students who have made their life abroad and only come to Austria for the purpose of studying will not be funding for an Erasmus Plus stay in their country of residence. Good, what are here the submission deadline? Surprise, you can hand in your application anytime. Um, just be aware that all your documents have to be uploaded in Mobility Online at least one month before the start of the traineeships. Good. Um, to the application process from, I just see that there's a mistake on the slides. Um, here it should be Erasmus Plus traineeship, but it's kind of the same application process. You also look for the traineeship by your own, bring us the confirmation of the traineeship and apply for mobile in mobility online. Here, um, the most important application documents are the learning agreement, as well as the application for recognition, the letter of recommendation, and again, the evidence of the required language skills. I just say it one more time because one or two just joined later. We have the opportunity to send you a link for the Oxford replacement test or OPT test. It um, is a, a test you can do at home online and you just have to pay 10 euros um, for that. If you want to have such one, just write me an email. Good. Just to summarize the traineeship options again, we have two different options subsidy for traineeships and Erasmus Plus student internships. Subsidy for traineeships, here the stay has to be at least one month. At Erasmus Plus student trainee internships, the stay has to be two months. Um, subsidy for traineeships are possible outside of Europe and in Switzerland. And Erasmus Plus student internships, they are only possible in Europe, since Erasmus Plus is in Europe, um, except Switzerland. But Switzerland is a possibility over subsidy for traineeships. Good. That were the information about the different summer opportunities for you. Um, just um, info for all the programs now. The stays are reported to student service, and that's my point from earlier. Um, if you apply via Mobility Online, the stays are always reported to the student service. Also, if you don't get funding in case you earn or your monthly net income is higher than 650 euros, um, what's the advantage for you here? Um, in case of a stay during the semester of longer than two weeks, the semester will not be included in the calculation of the study period. So that means longer study period without tuition fees. So there is no risk of losing time due to a mobility stay abroad and thus having to pay 
tuition fees. Um, and the stay will appear in the diploma supplement after graduation, which is also quite nice just for further application, job applications. That's always good and nice to see. Good. That was the info session so far.